In this video, we will discuss about pathogenesis of malignant peripheral nerve sheet tumor. And this tumor is uh, basically uh, also considered as a tumor in the soft tissue. And there are various reasons that might cause this kind of tumors. And people have a proposed theory to inhibiting to inhibiting specific pathway so that uh, the, these tumors can be reduced within the patient. So let us first understand uh, what are the possible causes that might trigger this MP and ST problems. So first one is the this activation of RAS through this EGFR and what this does is uh, this will uh, promote this MEK, MEK uh, signaling and this MEK signaling uh, will is related to proliferation of the cells so uh, this through this EGFR or P, PDGFR uh, the RAS channel might get activated and this will lead to activation of MEK that will uh, proliferate these cells or in case in other case we can say tumor cells it will proliferate tumor cells and, and simultaneously this receptors will uh, phosphorylation of this receptors will also promote this mTOR and this mTOR is associated mTOR is associated with uh, activation of those uh, genes that are uh, responsible or that promote uh, the cancerous cells or tumor growth uh, tumor growth and uh, as we know that uh, environment near the tumor cells is considered as macro tumor environment and this uh, in this macro tumor environment the formation of mast cells occurs with the help of this KIT receptors and simultaneously the macro uh, amount of macrophages in the MPNST are uh, infected uh, are found very large or, uh, or we can say in, in terms of figures around 50 percent of the tumors that are found in MP and ST patients are macrophages and uh, in some patients it has been found that activation of this uh, or through this VEGFR receptors uh, the tumors get spread across this endothelial cells and uh, this WNT signaling pathway is the uh, another uh, way through which the uh, this tumor condition might get exaggerated as it will affect uh, as it will affect the transcription of the transcription or translation of the uh, genes within the nucleus in such a way that the genes that are or genes that promote cancerous cells or growth of cancerous cells are upregulated and the genes that suppress cancerous cells are downregulated or they, we can say the epigenetic changes might occur so what are the approaches that people are targeting first we will start with the epigenetic inhibitor so the epigenetic changes that occur because of this activation of signaling uh, could be inhibited so that uh, there will be no change in the translation or transcription rate and uh, cells will not be able to progress towards becoming a tumor cells and this is uh, one of the approach another approach is that uh, in a targeting individual signaling pathway such as MAC inhibitor that it will promote the it will inhibit the growth of the tumor cells and restrict them to spread across the cells. This mTOR. mTOR is also associated. Oh, mTOR is associated with the epigenetic changes. So, uh, targeting this mTOR individually might also help in reducing the impact of this uh, tumor condition. And the WNT signaling pathway can be inhibited here or can be inhibited with intracellular 
through this uh, by inhibiting this activation of this complex so that it won't leads to epigenetic changes uh, later on and one thing that uh, i forgot to mention is the uh, hsp90 uh, hsp mutation or hsp90 helps in the stabilization of this tumor protein tumor growth proteins proteins that are produced in tumor so inhibition of this hsp19 will also helps in reducing the uh, tumor cell growth and this vgfr the function of vgfr in tumor growth is that it helps in the metastasis of the tumor cells so inhibiting this will restrict the tumors within a certain area of the body and Uh, to avoid this macro tumor environment to spread or become more uh, stringent in a way to protect this tumor cells uh, this impact of macro tumor environment can be reduced by inhibiting the kit receptors so that the mass, uh, the grow production of this mast cells might get uh, will get reduced and simultaneously it will also helps in reducing the macrophages Uh, within the patient so these are the different approaches that are presently been targeted to treat this mpnst uh, tumor to treat this mpnst disease if you need to understand this thing in details you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description that's all for this video thank you for your time